Hi there. In this video, we're going to try out the LM35. It's a uh, small chip, a three pin chip, and it's meant to sense temperature. Uh, it's accurate to within two, two degrees or so, two Celsius degrees. So, there it is here. See if we can get a closer look at it. LM three five. It's actually an LM35DZ. And uh, it's got three pins. So looking at it from the front, Pin 1 is the plus voltage, pin 2 is the output, and pin 3 is ground. Now in the last video, I wired something up backwards, and fortunately the Arduino has a, a resettable software fuse. It's a hardware fuse, but it's resettable, and uh, I switched the plus and ground, and it started to draw too much current, and the Arduino board shut down. With something like this, if you connect it up, and believe me, I've done it, uh, if you connect it up the wrong way, it can start to uh, heat up, get very, very hot, and eventually destroy itself internally. So you've got to make sure that the plus and the ground are properly uh, connected. So in this case, we have the Arduino. We have the 5 volts, we have the ground, here's our chip, and then this goes to another pin. And that pin is, let me look it up on the in the sketchbook. It is analog zero. Okay, so let's connect it up. So the ground, which is the third pin, goes to the ground rail. The plus 5 volts goes to the positive rail. When you connect up your breadboard items to the Arduino, it's a good idea, good practice, to 
do it in a certain order. Uh, usually, you connect up the ground first. And then you supply power. And finally, we'll connect up our analog zero to the middle pin. And when I do this, it's always a good idea to touch the component to make sure that it's not heating up. That's uh, one way that you can you can assure yourself that things are are properly hooked up other than to do a visual double check to make sure that everything is is wired in the proper to the proper pins. Uh, if you get something wired the wrong way, sometimes you'll actually smell uh, your device cooking. Um, so it's good to have all your senses working when you're uh, plugging things in for the first time. So let's switch over to the sketch. The, uh, this particular sketch, the idea came from an Instructables, and the link to this, uh, to the Instructable, is on the course website as well as the this demo sketch. So we've got two constants. We've got uh, an integer which is called val for value, and then we have an integer uh, called temp pin, which is temperature pin is the analog zero pin. We are going to look at the uh, temperature of the device using the serial monitor. So we set that up um, and then uh, within the loop, this is actually, uh, let's clean that up a little bit. There we go. So the value is being read as an analog uh, value and it's being held in the integer uh, called val. A float is then created called mv and it is a calculation of the value that's read by the temp pin divided by 124.0 times 5,000. This, this uh, MV is divided by 10 and uh, so this is the Celsius value and this is uh, the Fahrenheit value we will actually just be using the Celsius value. So the rest of the sketch just sends commands to the serial monitor to print temperature equals the Celsius value and then the uh, Celsius um, abbreviation. And then it's uh, sent down to the next line a delay of one second before it goes back and does a new temperature reading. So I'm going to verify this and we'll upload it. So the uh, the temperature in the room is 23.93. I'm going to put my finger on the top of the of the LM35 now. And you can see the temperature going up. Now 
Now I've taken my finger off and the temperature should go down. If I blow on it, you can see that the temperature is slowly going down. So that's the LM35 temperature sensor. There are ways, if you do a search on Google, there are ways that you can get a much more accurate or a much finer uh, gradient of values. You see that the uh, temperature, uh, which is currently 24.41, the next stage down will uh, be is 23.93. So it goes in about one half of a Celsius degree uh, increment. And there is a way to make that increment much closer, like one tenth of a Celsius degree. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated, but I'll leave it to you to find it. Have fun and see you next time.